Greetings everyone and welcome to my review of Mega Man Issue 6 and the second part of Time Keeps Slipping, or Time Keeps on Slipping based on this page here. I'm going to stick to the second option because it reminds me of a good song. To recap what's happened so far, Dr. Light is using his robots to clean up the damage Dr. Wily caused when two federal agents, Stern and Krantz, arrive to question him. Eventually, Dr. Light and Mega Man join them in escorting Wily to a federal prison. However, Wily arranged things with the help of two robot masters ahead of time. One of them, Time Man, helped Wily escape thanks to his time slow ability. The convoy was attacked by a sniper Joe as a distraction for the record. And the other one, Oil Man, kidnaps Roll. She was grocery shopping on behalf of Light. And with that, let's get started. Dr. Light and Agent Stern argue about Wily's disappearance. Stern thinks this attack was a way for Wily to escape. Funny thing, he's right, but he's wrong that Light had anything to do with it. Q Agent Krantz, voice of reason. She points out that whatever happened, Wily's loose and they have to find him. To make it easier for the detectives, Dr. Light willingly turns himself in. He knows he's innocent and hopes justice will take its course. And believe it or not, Agent Stern respects this action. Before being led away, Light tells Rock to head home to look after his sister. Yeah, about that. Home right now is an oil-covered mess as Mega Man discovers. He finds Wily's ransom note and Mega Man's conflicted. He wants to go to the agents, but the note specifically mentions not to contact them. It also says not to send Mega Man, but we all know by now he's going to take action anyway. We head over to Wily's current hideout where Time Man presents his clothes. Not long after, Oil Man arrives with Roll. Then these two start arguing. Man, everyone's arguing in this issue. I suppose if one has a wound up personality and the other has a loose one, that would clash. Wily tells them to cut it out by bashing their heads into one another. A definite contrast to what Agent Krantz did earlier. But hey, it works. Then he orders them to make his escape ship. Roll is curious about these two. She's never seen them before. So Wily explains that Time Man and Oil Man were experimental robots with advanced AI. Dr. Light thought they weren't ready for presentation because they were too powered up. <laughs> get it? In typical Wily fashion, he completed the two behind Light's back, and they're completely loyal to Wily. Back at the cleanup site, the Robot Masters are still goofing off, but Rock soon puts an end to that. After discussing the situation, the Robot Masters want to find Wily and save Roll, but they can't just abandon the cleanup effort. So it's the decided that Cutman and Iceman will join Mega Man. The three head back to Wily's previous fortress, thinking that's where the doctor's hiding. Not a bad idea, really. They make their way back to the copy robot room to have a quick look around. Yeah, I don't blame Rock for being uncomfortable when Cutman and Iceman are playing around with copy robot's helmet. But soon they find a hole in the wall leading to an underground passage. Said passage is filled with Susie bots, which activate as soon as they sense the trio. They get away, but they end up further underground. Their next challenge is rushing water. Not even Iceman's attempt at an ice wall can stop it. They end up in a room with some boxes, and we get another argument in this issue. This time, it's Cutman rubbing it in Iceman's face that he failed to stop the water. This argument, and the issue, ends when the three of them come face to face with this robot. One of the things I found interesting is Mega Man's situation here. Dr. Light's in custody, and Roll has been kidnapped, and Rock decides to do something about the latter. With Wily's note specifically saying not to involve the authorities, he had to ask for the aid of his robotic brethren. Some people might think this decision contradicts what Light said last time about having limited free will. Not necessarily. Remember, Rock's primary purpose is to help people, something more than likely encoded into his programming. But there's enough leeway to determine how he's going to help people. That's what allowed him to become a super fighting robot in the first place. Let's apply this here. Dr. Light told Rock to go home and look after Roll. Problem is, again, Roll's been kidnapped. Rock going to save Roll fulfills the help people directive in two ways. First, it's the obvious hero saves the damsel thing, which is the right thing to do. And second, it's to help Dr. Light because he would be devastated by Roll's loss. Rock may be governed by his coding, but he understands human emotions to a degree. Likewise, the Robot Masters, at least the original six, also have the Help the People coding embedded into their program. I'm guessing that's a staple of all light robots. This is what led to the conflict on how to proceed. Like Rock, they want to help Roll, and by extension Light, and want to stop Dr. Wily from harming more people, but they have a responsibility of cleaning 
cleaning up the mess they caused in the last arc. Thankfully, this is resolved when Cutman and Iceman volunteer to go with Rock. This brings us to the next two things I want to discuss. First, a return to the first Wily Castle allows us to see Wily Stage 3. Complete with the underground tunnel that eventually floods, Susie Robots, and the encounter with this boss, CWU-01P. Second, this might be a nod to a Mega Man powered up game mechanic. For those who don't know, if Mega Man defeats a Robot Master with just his Mega Buster, said Robot Master can be repaired, reprogrammed, and playable. That's what I got from Cutman and Iceman joining Rock. I'm giving this issue an 8. In addition to what I said about Rock and the Robot Masters earlier, I'm still impressed that Ian Flint took the time to research Mega Man lore so that fans would enjoy the nods here and there, like the Robot Master personalities, and Wily explaining to Roll why Light hasn't revealed Time Man and Oil Man to the public with clever wordplay. Anyway, next time our heroes continue their search for Roll and Dr. Wily, and what is to become of Dr. Light and the Agents. Interesting look there, Wily. If you really want to shake things up, maybe you can have a cape or something, or better yet, a black button shirt.